This video is proudly sponsored by Blinkist, but more on that and details of a special offer a bit later on. Hi everyone, hope you are well and keeping safe. In some of our videos you may have heard of me discussing or referring to checking the wheel nuts on the caravan. But why? Why should we spend any more attention on the caravan than we do the car? Well wheel detachments from caravans do happen and despite many theories on forums, Facebook groups and Discord servers as to why they come free, the simple answer is the wheel nuts were not tightened correctly. They've become loose during the course of travelling which results in the wheel separating from the hub. Not only ruining someone's day but destroying a caravan and most importantly endangering lives on the road. All of this could have been resolved if the wheel nuts were checked before departure. So when and how should we check the caravan wheel nuts? Well it's simple, before each time we depart the wheel nuts should be checked that they are tight and if the wheel has been taken off of the caravan like during a service the wheel nuts should be rechecked after traveling 100 miles or so. To check the tightness of the wheel nuts we can use a readily available tool called a torque wrench. Now the torque wrench works just like a ratchet spanner, but it will click when the tightness or torque reaches a specific value. We can set this value on the tool by adjusting the grip. The correct torque setting for your caravan is usually documented in the caravan handbook, but it can sometimes be found on the side of the caravan on the weight plate. Nowadays it's measured in newton meters, but also values can be described in foot pounds or pound feet, depending on which side of the planet you live on. The required torque setting on my caravan is 130 newton meters. But like I mentioned, check your caravan handbook for details for your required setting. It could very well be different. So setting the value on my torque wrench is quite simple. Different models work in different ways, but mostly here's what you need to know. Now I mentioned that my caravan needs 130 newton meters of torque for my wheel nuts. And as you can see, it hasn't got 130 on the gauge. Instead, the nearest value without going over is 126. Now you'll also notice that on the grip ring, it has a numbers two, and this is what we need to do. Loosen the locking nut at the bottom to allow the handle to rotate, and we rotate the handle to 126, and line up the zero on the grip ring. Then we get from 126 to 130, we just need to add four. So we rotate the handle until the four is on the center line. And once set, tighten the locking nut at the bottom of the handle so it can't rotate or change value whilst we check the wheel nuts. Right, the torque wrench is set and we can head outside now and start tightening those caravan wheel nuts. But before we do, you're probably watching this video because you like to learn new skills, have a curiosity to understand things better and a desire on how to do things yourself. Well, if that is the case, then this video sponsor might be right up your street. Blinkist is a fantastic app available on desktop, phone and tablet, which delivers non-fiction podcasts, best-selling books that you can read or listen to, and all of which have been split into small, easily digestible chunks known as blinks that can fit in with your lifestyle. Each blink is around 15 minutes long, and there's over 4,500 condensed titles across 27 categories. These categories range from career and success, nature and the environment, and motivation and inspiration. In fact, it's the motivation and inspiration which I've really taken a shine to. I've been listening to Freelance to Founder, which focuses on how to manage your workload, especially if your work is of a creative type, and it shares some really useful hints and tips for getting the best results from the creative side, whilst also making enough time to do all the admin. Really useful information, especially if, like me, you're a freelancer and have to do everything yourself. Now, this particular title is known as a shortcast, which is a shortened podcast. It gets all the bits that you need to know with none of the waffle. I mean, who needs a waffly podcast, right? The app is simple. Discovering new titles and adding them to your library is as simple as clicking the library icon. From there, you can download the blinks to your device, listen to or read them, and also listen to the shortcasts as well. Exploring new titles across categories is also incredibly easy. And if you want to search for a particular title or author, well, there's a great search tool as well. For me, Blinkist has been a really great way to test out books before I go off and buy them. And it's been a useful companion in the car whilst I've been traveling around and listening to those shortcasts. Now access to all these titles is available from one single monthly subscription of $9.99 per month. But in the description below, I've added a link for a seven day free trial and a further 25% off a premium membership. So why not go and give that a go? Right, it's time now for us to head on outside and start tightening those wheel nuts. And as you can probably hear, it's now tipping down the rain. Let's go. So first up, attach a 19 millimeter socket to a short bar and connect it to the torque wrench. We're gonna need a slight extension bar to get past the wheel arch on the caravan. Make sure the wrench is set for clockwise tension, remembering righty tighty, 
and connect the socket to the wheel nut and slowly tighten until the torque wrench clicks. As soon as it clicks, stop pulling and that's now set for our chosen torque. We can move on now to the next nut. Now the order in which we check the nuts should be done in a cross method. On a five stud wheel, we're going to draw a star. Start at the top, move to the bottom, then across and back forth before heading south for the final nut. Or to keep it simple, just go every other nut until you're finished. If you've got a four stud wheel, check from the top left, bottom right, top right, then bottom left. Easy. Do this as part of your pre-departure checks, along with the tyre pressures and the tyre checks, and shouldn't have any problems with wheel detachment. If you collected the caravan from being serviced or have had any work on it where the wheel has been removed from the caravan, make sure you witness the dealership tightening the wheel nuts in front of you, or at least you have had the chance to check them yourself. Bear in mind that as soon as you connect the caravan to your car, it's your responsibility to make sure the car and the caravan is roadworthy and safe. So it's up to you to make sure that they have been checked. Now, when you finish checking your wheel nuts, it's important to unwind the torque wrench back to zero. This will prolong the life of the internal workings and make sure its measurements remain accurate. It's also worth noting that you shouldn't over tighten your wheel nuts as this can stretch the bolts, allow them to wriggle free and become loose. Now, if this does happen or you've damaged any of your wheel bolts, you can buy a new set for around £50 from a caravan dealership. Now a question that the comments is going to be filled with, no doubt, and I can see it already, is how do you know you're measuring 130 newton meters? How do you know that this torque wrench is calibrated? Are we over tightening the wheel nuts? Are they under tightened? How do you know? Well, it's really quite simple. I've placed a link in the video description and the link in the corner to a video that perfectly demonstrates how you can calibrate a torque wrench at home with no specialist tools. Just a set of weighing scales, a heavy object and an Allen key. I've also placed a link to the torque wrench which I've been using for as long as we've been caravanning and when I checked for calibration earlier this month it was pretty spot on. If you do want me to do a video specifically to show you how to calibrate a torque wrench let me know in the comments below I'll be happy to film that for you. Right and there we go I hope that's useful for you you can probably see I got caught in the rain outside and it's still persisting right now. That's hopefully as much as you need to know about torque wrenches, but there are a couple of things I just want to cover off. Uh, you may have seen me using this thing here where, on our wheels. Um, nothing that you need to worry about. This is our locking wheel nut, which we use on our caravan. Most Baileys have these. So I need to install that one first before attaching the 90 mil socket. Second thing I want to raise as well is the 19 mil socket. Your caravan may not be 19 millimeters. It will be documented in your handbook if you have one but please do go make sure that you have the correct socket as you can see i use a long reach uh, socket there because obviously um, i need to get past the spat on the side of the caravan you'll be surprised how far in the wheels are when you need to come and tighten them the torque wrench which i have does come with a short extension bar already all you need to do is supply the correct size socket uh, which obviously in this case is 19 mil so that's it from me today. A huge thank you to Blinkist for sponsoring this video. Please don't forget, head over for your free seven day trial and 25% off a premium membership. Link is in the description down below. But that's it from me this week. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon. And if you can do all of that, then I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.